It was an early start to the day, on the 14th of April, setting off from home at 7.50 hours, for the Yorkshire Military Vehicle Trust, Crank Up event. The Crank Up was the first official meetup of the year. The route was quiet and it was a nice drive, cutting through the country lanes to avoid the fast roads. We would be displaying in the centre of York, but meeting up at the Tadcaster lay-by on the A64, to convoy the last 10 miles into the city. It took about two and a quarter hours to do the 77 miles to Tadcaster, where at least 25 vehicles of all sizes were waiting for the convoy start at 10.30. It took a few minutes for the convoy to leave the lay-by and filter into the faster-moving traffic on the main road. The convoy ended up being spread out into groups, all trundling along at around 30 miles per hour. It took us around 30 minutes to make the 10 and a half mile trip from Tadcaster to the Green at York Castle. The convoy was further split up by several sets of traffic lights as we entered the outside of the city. I was among a group of jeeps located around the middle of the convoy with heavier vehicles both ahead and behind me. Having the convoy split into groups helped the organizers marshal the vehicles onto the Green in front of York Castle. The smaller and lighter vehicles were parked up on the grass, with the heavy vehicles on the circular road around the green. Some owners had traveled directly to the castle, and once everyone was parked up, I counted 60 vehicles in attendance. I grabbed a rare selfie with my jeep and the castle, before going for a look around. The area around the vehicles is free for the public to wander around, and get a good look. However, the best vantage point to see the whole gathering, is by climbing the steps up to the castle. The top of the tower would probably give an even better view, but there's an entry fee to go into the castle. What is great about the York Group is the variety of vehicles in attendance. While the majority of vehicles were Jeeps, there's a good mix of all sorts, both World War II and post-war, as can be seen from these pictures. Mid-April is still quite early in the English springtime, so we were lucky this year. While it was sunny, it was also cool with a bit of a breeze. However in past years, we've had snow, so we can't complain too much. Most owners stay until about mid-afternoon, before people start to drift away. I think I left somewhere around 1500 hours, since I had another two-hour trip ahead of me. After escaping the city's one-way system and heading north, I made my way through the country lanes again, to avoid the fast roads and heavy traffic. Cutting cross-country is safer and a more enjoyable drive, with better views. On the Darlington Ring Road, there's a brick sculpture of a Gresley A4 Pacific locomotive. February 2024 marked the 85th anniversary of the A4, Mallard, setting the world speed record for a steam locomotive at 126 miles per hour. From Darlington, it was another 45 minutes back home, still using the country lanes, which was also the most direct route. I got back home at 17.14 hours, rather tired, but having had a grand day out. My next trip out is to the Yorkshire Air Museum, in about three weeks time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.